This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees. I'm on Facebook and YouTube as usual. This is about part number five on um, box making. So we've done cutting the boxes, we've done making the handles, we've um, going to do clean up afterwards um, we're going to uh, so today's uh, little exercise is we're going to assemble the boxes that we just made and put the handles on so I've got this jig that I have made and I've got a turntable that goes with it and I bolt this to the bench I've got a little mark on here that fits over here I bolt that down to the ground so it's nice and firmly fixed. And then I bolt my jig to that with a big screw. All I've got to do is find the hole. Where is it? And now my box jig spins around. When I made this jig up, I made it up so that this corner is dead square, absolutely square. So if I get my plate square, I can put it in here and I know that that is absolutely square. So I don't have to check my boxes to make sure they're square, nor do I have to make sure that they're flat because as you can see I've got 50 millimetres of MDF here, two layers of 25 mil MDF screwed together so it's absolutely perfectly flat. So I'm about to show you how I go about making my boxes. Okay so this is the glue that I use to glue all my boxes together. Now if you notice I'm wearing my overalls today because this glue really really sticks hard and it's hard to get out of uh, your normal clothes so overalls on for, the, for this little exercise. I use a Gorilla Glip grip it's a polyurethane glue and construction adhesive 100% waterproof and it's a foaming gap filling uh, glue I like it in the tubes it's a little bit dearer than in the squeezy bottles but this never goes off while it's in here whereas if you buy the squeezy bottle you might save a bit but I guarantee you'll waste all the glue I always like the two hour uh, cure time that gives me more time to uh, work and muck around and um, I build all the boxes one day then I clean them up the next so this is how I go about it two of the boxes that we made just before I sit them down here so they're nicely all lined up And I put a good healthy bee only on the one side, on the one quarter's edge. I now pick up my putty knife and I go through and I make sure that I have put the putty, uh, put the glue into all parts of the woodwork. There's a lot of surplus glue on there, so I'll wipe that off and put that over there because we're going to use it over there. Make sure that everything, every part of that joint is covered.
on both joints. Now that fits upside down with that rebate down into here. Guarantee in my jig you cannot put it the wrong way up. So we'll put it around on that one first so you can see. So that rebate sits over there and just leans back uh, while we glue up the other one. Looks like I might need a bit more glue on this. This one fits in this end, obviously. Now I grab an end board, a sideboard. Put that into place. Grab the other one. Got this blemish mark on that side, so I make sure that that goes on the inside. Now I push that across there. I use these little plates so I don't mark the wood. Put some little screws on the bottom here. See the glue starting to squeeze out? That's what I want to see. Just a little bit of glue squeezing out. And then I'll put some clamps up the top. Alright, effectively the box is all made now, except of course that the glue hasn't set. But how do we fasten them? Some people like nails, some people like screws. I like air tools. And these are uh, 165 staples. They're um, nice heavy gauge staples. Uh, so they're um, 38 millimeters, uh, 16 gauge. And I put four down this side and three in here. So remember to oil your air tool every time you use it. So I spin that round and I put my little block in here to stop this moving. Four down here. Three in here. Spin around 180. And that's it, that's a box made. All we have to do is tomorrow we'll clean off this glue that's bubbled out of here. Some people say, tell me that uh, I spend too much time putting all my jigs and uh, clamps and stuff on together, but as far as I'm concerned, I 
save time because I never have to check a box. They always come out square. They always come out flat. And I can make the box absolutely true in less than 10 minutes. So I've got a few more to make. But um, that's it as far as the box makings go. We'll uh, make the rest of these up. Normally when I'm making them up, I make a hundred boxes up at a time, assemble them. Um, I don't have time to make one or two boxes at a time. So uh, that's it for assembling a box. It's Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. We'll see you around next time cleaning up the boxes.